meant to learn not to earn a school should be their only workplace good morning i am amira arsha from 10e by the medium of today's speech i would like to attract your attention towards a very urgent topic the problem of child labor i would like to discuss what it exactly means and what is being done to overcome it child labor is a most important concern in the world as it affects the children both physically and mentally it also destroys the future of the children the child labor act 1986 defines a child as a person who has not completed the age of 14 years every child is a gift of god it must be nurtured with care and affection with the family and society but due to some social economic problems children are forced to work at industries leather factories hotels etc now what is child labor child labor is a type of crime in which children are forced to work at a very young age just like the adults to assume their responsibilities by participating in economic activities this year's world day against child labor focuses on action taken for the 2021 international year for the elimination of child labor according to the international labor organization or ilo there is an age limit for the children that the children up to the age of 15 will not involve in any kind of forced labor i would like to conclude by saying that the remedy is only in the hands of the government it should take necessary steps towards getting rid of poverty by giving job opportunities to the parents of the child laborers every child should be educated the government should allocate funds for educating the poor children it is only possible with the help of all the sessions of the society and law enforcement agencies the most precious gift that you can give to a child is his childhood Let us stand against child labor. If we promise ourselves that we will not let any child to become a labor, then every child will get what he deserves. The future of the world depends upon today's children. Educate them and let them play to promise this world a brighter future. Happy Anti-Child Labor Day. Thank you. Respect your principal, teachers and all my dear friends. Peace be upon you. From 2003 every year World Day Against Child Labor is observed on June 12th by the International Labor Organization. Child employment is a severe matter in most of the developing nations. Small children under the age of 14 are being involved in economic work activities by the people of high class society. They are ignoring the reality that children are the future hope of the nation. Millions of children are la- lacking in primary education and deferring their childhood in our country which is a terrible warning these children do not get the opportunity to live a healthy life since they are not delightly physically indirectly and culturally in their childhood to reduce the social matters of child labor if is required to follow some effective solutions or an 
thousand bases to guard the future of our country. I am going to tell some solution to prevent child labor. All the children should be given first priority by their parents to take proper and regular education from their early childhood. Child labor demands high level social knowledge with the proper statistics of huge loss in the future for any developing country. Every family must earn their minimum income to survive and prevent child labor. Work opportunities should be improved for adults to overcome the problem at poverty and child labor. I am concluding my words by saying that children are very small. However, they live a flourishing future at any developing country. So they are the big responsibility at all the other citizens and should not be used in negative ways. Thank you. Good morning, teacher and my dear friends. Today I made a deliver a speech on child labor. Child labor has been the most important concern in the world because it affects the children both mentally and physically. It also destroys the future of children. The Child Labor Act 1986 defines a child as a person who has not completed the age of 14. Child labor is a practice of engaging the children in economic activity on a part or on a part or full time basis. Every child is considered as a gift of God and must be nurtured with care and affection with the fam with the family and society but due to the social economic problems children will be forced to work in industries leather goods fact leather good factories hotels and self-service restaurants i would like to conclude my speech by saying that the remedy is the only in the hands of the government and it needs to take necessary steps to get rid of poverty by giving employment to the parents of the child laborers thank you and have a nice day